have my July favourites for you today. I have a heap to get through as usual. Um, a big mix of beauty and non-beauty things. So my monthly favourites from last month was a little bit different. It's more of a get to know me video and I will link that, link that in the description box below. Um, but this month it's back to good old beauty products. First starting off with some face products. This is the Ultragena Sheer Face Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus. I wear this every single day without fail. Whether I'm wearing makeup or not, it's always the first thing I put on after I cleanse my face. It says it's got a water light texture and has a matte look and that is exactly how it is. It soaks in straight away, doesn't make me oily at all during the day and I just feel like my skin is really protected because my skin is so pale and I'm just really trying to protect it and it's just one thing that I do every single day. So definitely a winner. Next is a fairly new brand that's come to Priceline in Australia, and that is Jergens. And I have two of their products here. The first one is their BB Body uh, Perfecting Skin Cream. Um, this is specially designed to enhance your skin, and it's kind of, it's quite a thick texture, um, and it's tinted, slightly tinted, and it's just meant to really heal and even out your skin tone. I normally use this on my legs, especially after shaving. Um, the other Jergens product is incredible and this is the hand and nail cream so one thing i do love about both or all of the jergens products is that they're not only moisturizing but they're healing as well i get super dry hands and it's winter here in australia so they're even worse than usual and this has been so good and everyone i've been recommending this to is loving it as well next on to a new uh dry shampoo that i discovered i i went to go get the chlorine one that i normally use but they were out of it so i got this one this is the hairdressers formula dry shampoo with rice milk and SPF protection. I'm not sure how much SPF is in there. I don't use this every day, so I don't think I'm really getting the benefits of that. But I really like this. It doesn't do anything but make your hair feel clean. And that's what I like in a dry shampoo. I don't want volume. Um, I don't need any of that. I just want something that's gonna clean my hair. And this is how, this is exactly what that does. It makes it nice and light and soft and shiny. And yeah, it just makes it feel like I've, you know, washed my hair, but I haven't. So, really loving that. On to another skincare item. This I've only been using for probably the past two weeks, but I'm loving it. This is the Antipodes Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream. So this is with nutrient-rich avocado oil and antioxidant Venanza grape. So, really loving it. This pot is huge, and it's a really nice texture, so it's nice and light. Sinks in instantly, no matter how much you use. Like, at night, I like slather this stuff on. It just is so cooling and refreshing and soothing and just feels like it's actually doing something. And I don't have the box anymore, but it did win some awards or something like that. Um, and it's meant to help with collagen in the eye area as well, so definitely a winner for me. My lips got super dry the last few weeks because it's so cold here. We all, all of a sudden had a really cold snap. Um, nobody was prepared for it, but um, my lips were saved by this. I had to do it twice for it to start seeing good results, but this is the Fresh Sugar Polish. And it looks like this. It smells amazing. It's nice and sweet. It smells like brown sugar. And it does taste really good too, but try not to eat too much. Um, really good. It just really gets in there, scrubs your lips when you take them off, like take it off. It just feel like all that layer of dead skins come off and you feel nice and fresh. And then I just slather my favorite lip balm all over the top and it really helped and saved my lips. Now a product that having oily skin, I should, probably should have been using a lot earlier than what I've sort of discovered, but I was a little skeptical about them, but then I started using them. And that is blotting papers. These are just the Boshin ones, but any brand I'm sure is fine. And they're literally just a piece of paper that absorbs oil. Now I had this idea in my head that like it would just take off my makeup, but it doesn't. If you just sort of gently pat around, and then if it does take off a little bit, you can just add a little bit of concealer if you're out and about. Or I just powder straight over the top after I've blotted and it like, sets my makeup, takes off that extra layer of oil and your makeup looks fresh again. Uh, another one I got, this was in the latest uh, Marie Claire The Parcel. This is the uh, L'Oreal? L'Oreal? Is it L'Oreal? Yes, L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes So Couture. I love the packaging, it's super bright and shiny and it's purple which is my favourite colour. And this is my new favourite mascara. So it's got a little picture on the back here which you can't really see but it's got these little like uh, grooves on the inside so when you pull the brush out you don't have tons of product on the end which is really good and I love the brush has really good separating it's got rubber bristles really separates my lashes I love the tip because you can really get in there and just like 
uh, get into all those little corner lashes and it's good for the bottom lashes too. It lasts really well, which is awesome for me, bottom and top lashes. And I love that it's super volumizing. So I've said before, I do have really long lashes, so I don't want a lot of length. I don't really like that spidery look, but this is really good at just coating all the lashes, but giving me lots of volume. Now, I've been experimenting a lot with brow products this month, and I did get a few new ones, and I am gonna be doing a whole video on how I do, how I do my eyebrows, because it's something I'm still learning at, it's very difficult for me, it comes day to day, so it, I may be having a good brow day, I may not be having a good brow day. Today is an okay brow day, and now you're looking at my eyebrows. Um, but I've got three products here that I've been using, and the first one is just from Target. This is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil um, in dark brown, and it's really waxy. It's not as uh, thin, nowhere near as thin as the Anastasia brow is. Really waxy, it's a, like a really chocolatey sort of brown color, which suits pretty well. It's Easy to brush with a spoolie if you sort of put too much on, but you have to be careful not to go overboard. Um, otherwise, like for me, my eyebrows would just be too dark and full on. But for a really cheap alternative, this is only like $8 and they come in heaps of uh, different colors. And it took me a while to find this. They're always sold out. So if you get your hands on it, give it a try. The next is, actually I'll do this one. This is another like drugstore one. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Brow Artist Plumper. I have spent months trying to get my hands on this. It's always sold out, which means it's a really good product. Um, I got the color medium dark and it's just like a tinted brow gel that you put on your eyebrows. You can wear this on its own. Um, it is a little sticky. Like I have really strange eyebrows, which I will show you in the video coming up, but they are actually curly, so I get like weird clumps of hair in certain areas and yeah, anyway, they're pretty much non-existent. So this helps if I'm wearing, if I've got a product that's not quite the right color for me, um, it really helps to just, yeah, build up that color in that certain area. Um, and it sort of sets your product, the product you've already put in really well as well, and it lasts all day. Now my newest eyebrow product, and look at this amazing packaging. This is the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. And so it has a spoolie on the end, a huge one, which I really, really love. And then the product on the end. This color is a little bit too light for me, but if I use it with the uh, L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and put that over the top, it sort of creates the perfect color. And the reason I got this is because I really like the tip. So this, the problem I have with my eyebrows is right at the start, they're really pale, like, pretty much non-existent so I really have to draw that first arch bit in there and this really helps at getting that good angle on there because you can just do one line and it's there and I like that it's pretty hard to not hard to build it up but it's not easy to build it up which means that you won't you know overdo it and it seems to last all day and it's really nice and waxy and a really nice formula so definitely loving that one at the moment now onto a new non-beauty favourites. Now it's winter here in Australia, slowly getting into spring, but I have been loving this scarf. It seems to go with like any outfit. It's super snuggly and warm. Um, and if you sort of open it up, it's sort of like a blanket as well. So then you can like wrap it around you like a shawl if you get super cold. Um, but it's really nice and woolly and soft. And yeah, I've just been loving it. Now something I've really been getting into and so many people have sort of been talking about this lately, it's kind of like the new thing, and that is mindfulness. And I don't know if anyone's heard of the Calm app. Um, it's, it's a pretty well-known app, um, but it's sort of an app that helps you to meditate. I'm just trying to focus my energies into things that require it the most and center myself and calm myself. I can be a little bit of an anxious person. Um, and it's really been helping me. So the app, which is on here, so I've been loving the app. So this is the app here. And then you could sort of choose, I have like the rainforesty water one, if you can hear that. Yeah, nice and peaceful, but you can choose all different ones. So you can have rain, um, nice beach, depending on what you want. And there's guided ones on here. I haven't paid for the app. I'm just using the free version at the moment, but there's so much you can do on there, even on the free version. Um, I am thinking about getting the paid version just because there seems to be really specific meditations for what you're trying to achieve. But to go along with that app, they've recently released the Calm book and I sped through this book. It's such a good read. It's got, just puts everything that's like, I've been, I'm not good at trying to speak from the heart, but and trying to get my head around things, but this just puts everything into exactly the right words. And reading, by the end of this book, I just felt like my, such clarity in my head and I was determined to achieve things that I really want to achieve. Just put things in perspective a little bit more. 
And if you guys have this book, there's two cute little things that um, you do at the end which really surprised me and I haven't done them yet because I do want to do a bit of a video. One's to do with this little string here and another one is to do with each of the pages in the book. But yeah, as I said, this book's really good. It just separates it into sections like travel, lifestyle, work and how to utilize those areas and use that make them more calm and using mindfulness um, in those areas. So definitely recommend this book if you can get your hands on it. And my last favorite is to go along for those those lines with mindfulness, but it's something a little bit different, a little bit cute, and it is the mindfulness coloring book. Um, now coloring it in is not just for kids, we're all big kids at heart. Um, and this one I haven't started yet, but it's got all these like beautiful pictures through here. So this is, I think, really good if you're struggling with things, like you're worried about something or you're stressed or you're just trying to clarify something in your head if you can't quite, you know, get an idea on something, you know. I just feel like this is something to really focus your mind just on one thing. Focus on that if you just do a tiny bit for five minutes or you do a whole page or whatever you feel like. And I think it would be really good for travelers, like if you're a nervous flyer and things like that. If you just did this on the plane, I think that would be a really cool idea. And I really like the size of it too. It's super travel friendly. The other thing I've been loving is on my phone, and that is the first one is Apple Music. So Apple Music's just released their new um, like music service. So the first three months is free and then it's $12.99 after that. And you just have access to all the music that you could want. Like it's pretty amazing. You can just download it. You can set each songs to make it offline so you don't have to use like your data or you don't have to be in Wi-Fi. And I just find it's awesome. And an album I downloaded straight away was by Sia. She's an Australian artist and it's her album's called 1000 Forms of Fear. Now the songs I have heard of her, they've always blown me away and this album is just amazing. Her voice is just, it's like, it's such an instrument. The things that she can do with it, the control she has over it, and it's so unique. Like she just creates these amazing sounds with her voice and completely blown away by it. And I don't know, one of my uh, favorite songs on here is probably Burn the Pages and Chandelier, which I'm sure everybody knows as well. Alright guys, that is everything for my July favourites. I'm sure I'll have a whole bunch more cool products for my next monthly favourites. Don't forget to let me know in the, in the comment box below all the things you've been loving this month. Give it, this video a huge thumbs up. Share it around so everyone can see it. I will see you next time and be beautiful. Bye!